y'all. Welcome to another episode of Pajama Predictions. <clears throat> I am indeed in my pajamas. <laughs> so let's get started, shall we? Okay, sorry about that, guys. All right, I had to pause it for a second. So <clears throat> I had a really weird day today. I don't know. I don't know what was going on with me, but I just, I felt like I had to meditate more than usual today. Um, I don't know, the energy just felt off, I guess. And I felt like every little thing was just like making me cry. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, I felt very ungrounded and it was so weird because I went outside and I was barefoot, I was walking around and I did some grounding Look, it's like heaven's light. <laughs> it's literally just my light. Like, the light on the ceiling. I don't know, it's weird. Um, it's not even that bright. It's so strange what's doing that. It's just like one of those like ceiling fan lights. Crazy. Um, I don't remember what I was saying, but yeah, it was, I don't know. It's just a weird day. So I meditated a lot. Um, I was outside, I grounded, I did some yoga, um, some stretching because I'm trying to learn to do the splits. So my daughter has been teaching me how to be super flexible. She's seven, she can already, it's been like seven days and she can already do the splits and I'm on day six. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Um, so it's your girl bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Let's just dive in. Just um, one second, okay, and it's water. Okay, um, I think, oh, I don't know why I don't have this deck in. I already sound cleansed. Did I just say I don't know why I don't have this deck in? I meant to say deck out. Weird. I meant to say deck out and I said deck in. That was strange. Well, there are no accidents, so there's that. All right. Um, yes, I think we're going to start with the tarot, so let's do that, okay? <clears throat> so if you don't know what Pajama Predictions is, it is basically where we get all cozy and do our pajamas together, and I don't... I don't know what time it is in the world, like wherever you're at. I know there's people in India that watch me. It could be early in the morning, it could be late at night. But the idea is to get cozy, get into your pajamas, bring your cup of tea or whatever. I speak in a very calm, soothing voice. We get your pajama predictions out for the next day. So that way you can, before you go to bed, you have a little bit of prediction about what's going to happen the day, the next day. And you also get a nice calming environment with the girl bunny in our pajamas together. Like we're having a sleepover, right? Um, you know, you can get whatever drink you want, whether it's um, tea or water, anything to sort of calm you down. And normally I have my tea and I'm sipping with y'all, but I was just really thirsty today. So I'm drinking um, and I was, I was just, I didn't feel like drinking tea today. So I have water. All right, so let's dive right in. Ooh, look at that, bottom of the deck. We already have Ace of Cups. I don't know why I did that voice. All right, loves. Ooh, geez, I almost dropped the deck. All right, and I do have my light on. This one over here on the side connected to my camera so y'all can see me. And the lights of heaven is also shining down. <laughs> Sorry, I have a lot of hair, y'all. It's crazy, it's always. All right, um, what do we need to know? And just so you know, this is going to be a general love reading. So it's not going to resonate with all y'all, but it's going to resonate with some of y'all. So take what resonates. Okay. Leave whatever doesn't. I don't really care. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. I will ask that Archangel Michael be here to protect our space. My chair is squeaky, y'all. I'm sorry. It's not really conducive to sleep, I guess. 
So good morning or good night, wherever you are in the world. However, this is Pajama Predictions. So keep in mind, you're meant to watch this before you go to bed, okay? So you can have sweet dreams of what's to come and the magic. Ooh, wee, and look at that. Wow, we have the sun. We have a little bit of happiness coming our way, loves. All right. That one, normally, you guys know how I normally do this. So normally I'll shuffle and I'll put the cards face down, right? And, um, you know, I won't look at them until I have all the cards out. I'll flip them. You know, I put them face down and I flip them. But the sun card flew out and hit the floor. So, um, <laughs> I've seen it before. Fantastic. I'm sorry, yeah. Oh my god, all the cards are just flipping up. Look at this. <laughs> Spirit's like, we have nothing to hide today. <laughs> it's a magician. Wow, this is beautiful energy. This is the energy of someone happily trying to manifest you, right? happily trying to manifest you right by and by happily trying to manifest you I mean like they are <clears throat> focusing on visualizing moments where you and them are in bliss and joy and happiness right because when you experience joy and happiness whether you're visualizing it or it's real, your brain doesn't know the difference, right? It doesn't know the difference. So say you're sitting there daydreaming about someone and you're daydreaming that you're having a really great time and you're having fun, your brain is going to think it's a real memory because your brain doesn't know the difference. They've done scientific studies on this, you guys. Your brain does not know the difference whether you are daydreaming or it's a real memory. So when you do that, your brain is basically just um, it, it's really helping with your law of attraction manifestation because what you are visualizing, your brain assumes it's real. So you're creating memories with, you know, this significant person, right? So someone is happily visualizing a life with you and it looks like it's working because the magician means the manifestation is coming to fruition, right? Okay, I'm not going to flip that one. I'm trying not to see them. I have this one face down. We usually get six cards, so let's just keep with that number. We have four. Let's do two more, please, Spirit. Oh, that one flew out too. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Good. Queen of Swords is like, yay, yeah, manifesting me. <laughs> and he's like, but, 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 and she's like, mm. Mm. <laughs> I'll go your frog when I do that. <laughs> oh my. And this is why I'll never. <laughs> It's reasons like this that I'm still single because I do the frog for you. <laughs> I can't with myself. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's... <sighs> Bombastic side eye. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's six. Ooh, wow. Okay. Damn. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, this is not good at the end. We're going to have to do some clarifiers with these last two cards. Okay, so we have the sun, we have the magician. We have the eight of pentacles. Yeah, that's eight. Eight of pentacles. Ten of wands, or eight of wands, sorry. I said ten of wands, but it's eight of wands. Um, and we have Queen of Swords and Ten of Swords. 
So we're gonna have to do some clarifiers, but it feels like someone's working really hard, really hard trying to manifest you, right? I mean, they're really diligent. They have been girl or boy, girl, boy, whoo. They are really, really working hard on trying to manifest you, like double duty and seriously, all right? And I see that the energy is moving really fast. It's working, right? We have forward movement, okay? See, look, working really hard, really working hard at something. And it came out right next to the magician. So it's like they see the goal, which is the happily ever after with you. It's happily ever after, right? And then there's their, their energy they're putting in. They got their chalice. They got their sword, they got their wand, they're doing all their little manifestation, their visualizations and all that. They're working really hard at it, right? And then here comes the forward movement, right? We have the eight of wands, which is like things move very quickly, very fast, the energy is shifting, and then something happens. <laughs> the queen of swords says, back up. And then there's this. So it's like someone makes a move, the Queen of Swords says, mm, bye bye, or something like that, right? And then here he is completely dead on his feet, heartbroken, right? So let's do some clarifier cards. Why do we have this Queen of Swords here, Spirit? Why do we have. It's like the masculine makes a move and the queen of swords goes, mm -mm. no, you don't. No, nope. And I don't know why that is. I mean, maybe he screwed up in the past. I don't know. Let's, let's pull some clarification cards. Okay. Why do we have the queen of swords? Wow. We have four of wands in reverse. See, I know what I'm talking about. I said, maybe he screwed up in the past. So we have the four of wands. This is stability, happiness, joy. It's, you know, it's everything, the, the, the four pillars of, of stability and a relationship, its commitment came out in reverse, which means the reason this, okay, so someone, you know, a masculine energy doesn't necessarily have to be a male. It's just masculine, okay? Because obviously, look, we have a male here, right? So this person would 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 be have more masculine energy. So you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be man. Um, we all have equal amounts of both, right? But this person would come across as more masculine than feminine, have more masculine traits, right? Go getter, all that stuff. Where there and. Um, so this person is trying to manifest you. There's finally some forward movement. They feel, you know, ready to make a move. And then all of a sudden the, the feminine is no, she's not ready. She's got her sword up. It's almost like she's saying, what do you want? Look at her hands up, right? And the energy coming off of this, right? I, I asked for a clarifier and I said, why is she in this energy? Why does this feminine have her guard up? And boom, this came out right after, right? I asked for a clarifier card. There's the clarifier. So there was not a, 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 um, a stable offer in the past. So this person didn't take the offer of love seriously in the past, right? And so now that he's ready, she's not. Oh, this is not good. All right, let's get a clarifier for the Ten of Swords. I'm really hoping for better news at this pajama predictions, but I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't think that's going to be good news. Why do we have the Ten of Swords here? I have a feeling this masculine is not going to be happy with what's happening. When he makes this offer and she is not going to be happy either. Give me a clarifier for the Ten of Swords, please. Ooh, we have Queen of Pentacles. 
in reverse. So, this is a feminine who's very patient and kind in reverse. <laughs> so, this feminine has really, the Ten of Swords is about, so when this masculine finally decides to get up the guts and come correct this feminine is in this energy right she is fed up Oof. so where she was once very patient and sensitive and understanding now she's the exact op opposite she has ran out of patience she is she might come across as a little abrasive a little bit impatient a little bit snippy right um Oh, Lord, I don't know what the outcome of this is going to be, but it, it doesn't look like it's going to end well. <laughs> See, this is why, y'all, this is why if you guys see something that you want, you can't just screw it up. Like, you have to jump on it. You have to make decisions. Come in. One sec. Okay, sorry about that, guys. All right, well... Let's get one more card. What's going to be the outcome of this? I'll be surprised if it ends well. I feel like this feminine is really fed up. You know, I have to remain impartial. I don't know what happens, so I can't be like, oh... They shouldn't have done this or they shouldn't have done that because I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. We have Ace of Swords. So there will be some kind of closure. Um, there's going to be a conversation where you and this person talk and the truth is going to come out on both sides. What that truth is, I don't know. But there's going to be some clarification. There's going to be some deep conversations. And like I said, um, the truth is going to come out about how the feminine feels and how the masculine feels, okay? <sighs> Wowzers. Okay, um, let's move on to the love oracle. Oof. Jeez Louise. <laughs> You're not gonna guess what just happened. It went to shuffle and all the cards just went <laughs> They went everywhere, you guys. They're everywhere. One second. Oh my god, see what I mean, y'all? Fuckery has ensued. <laughs> Fuckery has ensued. Whew, let's try this again. I'm way too close to this table. I keep hitting my damn knees. Alright, let's go. Enough shenanigans spirit. <laughs> Um, let's get three of these. What else do we need to know about this crazy story? Oh, that one flew out. That's obviously pretty important. One more card, please, Spirit. Thank you. Wow, this is not going to end well, y'all. We have Liquid Courage, Snake, Breakup. So somewhere along the line, someone has the courage to make a move, right? That's what we've been feeling, right? This whole, this whole entire read. Okay, in order to do that, they have to have some kind of liquid courage, which means like, you know, a drink. Maybe this person doesn't normally drink, but for whatever reason, they decide to have a drink that day and that's when everything just, they get diarrhea of the mouth, they start telling people how they feel, including you, okay? And, you know, here's the thing, we have snake and we have breakup. So, there is an energy here of someone another party or someone being dishonest 
So it's possible that the reason this person didn't connect with you when they wanted to was because there was someone in their ear, AKA the snake talking bad about you behind your back, right? That's what it feels like. And then we have breakup. So it caused some sort of a separation between you and this person. I don't know. It's just coming out. Take it or leave it. All right, let's 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 go on. Let's move on. We have we're gonna use the fairy oracle. So I don't know. Um, it's possible too as well that they were dating someone, or the reason they didn't come forward is because they were in a relationship with someone. And the person, they found out the person was doing stuff behind their back. And so they broke up, right? And, you know, maybe that's the reason they're, they have the liquid courage to come forward now. Because they just did get out of a relationship where someone was dishonest. But if that's the case, I still don't feel like this person would be ready, right? Because, you know, you can't just get out of one relationship and jump into another. That's not healthy. You have to heal, right? The timing just feels off. Okay. Let's get three of these. What do we need to hear about how this person feels? Let's get one card of how this person feels. And then we'll get one card about how you feel. How does this person feel about whoever's watching right now? How does this person feel about the subscriber that's watching? And I'm saying subscriber because you know you better be subscribed. How does this person feel about this person, the subscriber watching? Oh my God, look at this. Home sweet home. So this person feels a really deep soul connection with you. They feel like you're their home. Can we just exhale a little bit for that? <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. It's number 64. Add it up, it's 10. It's possible you might have a fresh start with this person because 10 is the number of a new beginning. They definitely want a fresh start with you. Okay, let's see how you feel about this person. How do you feel about this person now? I did put that card back in there just in case it needs to come out again. So, how do you feel about this person? How does my subscriber feel about this person? Whatever relationship they were in before, they're obviously obsessed with you. So you feel like they're a little bit spoiled, maybe a bit conceited. You feel like this person expects you to jump when they are ready, right? Like, I feel like when you were ready, you know, they weren't, and, and now that they're ready, you're like, oh, so now all of a sudden, now, now you want to come forward, now that, you know, your relationship didn't work out, or now you want to come forward, now that, oh, you're drunk, and now you can, you know, now you have the, the guts to say how you feel, or whatever, and you're just kind of in this energy of you think that they're a brat. Look, it says the brat, right? You feel like this person has like a bad attitude towards life. Whew. <laughs> well, definitely was expecting all that to come out, but that's coming up. All right, so let's get some messages of love. All right. Um, at the end of the day, it's your choice as to whether or not to accept an offer from anyone or to move out, right? This is your life, baby boo. I'm just... I'm just predicting the pajama predictions. That's all I'm doing. Like, I'm, I'm reading the energy. That's all. All right. So, that being said, 
this person also may be releasing some type of fear because I just burped, which means, you know, that's the releasing of fear, right? At least that's how I've always seen it. Or releasing of something, you know, things that aren't serving them. To me, burping always represents release of some sort. Okay, so what, is, what does this person want you to know? Let's get three cards of what this person wants you to know. And I'm going to lay them face down so I don't see what they say yet. Three cards of what this person wants my subscriber to know, the one that's watching. Three cards. Ooh, well that one just flew out. Okay. Let's see. The first one says, runner, I don't want to run anymore. So this person could have been running from you and the card says it all they're like why was i running maybe they were still involved with someone like the card said like you know um breakup x whatever maybe they had unfinished business whatever reason they were running they don't want to run anymore unsatisfied i wasn't happy the way that things were going so they ran because they were afraid of screwing things up right they weren't happy the way things were going. They maybe they wanted things to unfold differently. Well, I don't know. Whatever the reason, something that was going on in the connection didn't feel right to them. So they dipped out. <laughs> All right, let's see. And then we have time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Ooh. Okay, so that makes sense, right? They're coming forward with an offer because perhaps they feel, oh God, I, I missed this boat. It's too late to take action. I need to come forward. And I feel like if this person does come forward with some liquid courage, I feel like the feminine, um, um, I wish I had better advice and I could be like, yeah, she's totally open to this connection, but I don't know if she is. She sees you as a brat or, you know, sees this person as a brat, whatever, I don't know. The feminine sees the masculine energy as a brat. No, it has, doesn't have to do with sexual gender. It's the energy, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't see this ending well for the person that is ready to make the move. I just don't. I wish I had better news, but I don't. Okay. You know, sometimes the love readings come out beautiful and sometimes they're like this. It is what it is. This is the most important message that needed to come out. So obviously somebody had to hear this, right? Okay. So we are going to end with a getting into the vortex card by Abraham, Esther, and Jerry Hicks. You know, I love, love, love this deck. It is always so good for um, relationship advice. So we'll do that. And hopefully um, everything works out for this masculine energy, which is hoping to make his move because I really aim for... really hate for it to not end well for anyone you know what I'm saying I wish all of you happiness and blessings and love you know sometimes the lessons that we have to learn are very tough and hard all right what is our final message I mean it, it wasn't all bad even though this feminine sees you as a brat it didn't say that she didn't care about you right or that she hated you just that she thought you were spoiled, rotten, and conceited. Not a biggie. <laughs> so dumb. All right, what's the final message? Ooh. Okay, looks like we got two. We're just going to take this one. Beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them. See? There are things... Did I just block my light? Why was it like that? It's really dark. Oh, it's because I was blocking the light, right? My camera just went two different colors. That's really odd. It's literally light up here and dark down here. I don't know if y'all can see it on the video, but it's odd. Okay, anyways, 
There are things in your environment that you believe that match what you want. And there are all kinds of things in your environment that you believe that defy what you want. How would you ever sort them out? How do you know the active beliefs within you that serve you well and the active beliefs that do not serve you? How do you know the beneficial beliefs from the detrimental ones? The beneficial beliefs feel better when you think them and the detrimental ones feel worse when you think them. Huh, that's sort of beautiful. All right, well, that seems like a pretty good place to end this. All right, I love you guys so much. If you want to book a reading with me, please click on the description box below my videos and it's in the little milkshake link.